Update 3 is finally here, and we have just so many cool things now, it's actually unbelievable. Like hyper tubes. Absolutely adorable little carts. <laughs> and along with a host of fundamentally game-changing tweaks, there are also now liquid pipes. The mad lads finally did it. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where Update 3 is out, and it's just like, oh my god, th just everything, just everything, everything we ever wanted, everything we didn't even know we wanted, it's in the game, it's in the game. Not to mention, a new starting area, but before we do anything else, guys, remember to leave a like, <laughs> but also, we have to check out the trailer, we have to, it's, it's unbelievable, unbelievable. Okay, I hope you found somewhere comfy, somewhere relaxed to sit, or lay down. Just prepare yourself. This is the greatest update ever. That's me, trying to get more oil, and then realizing I ran out in the world. Oil pump mark two. Please. More oil. Yes. No way! The memes have become a reality, brother! Oh my god. What is that? Water? What? What? No. No, 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 no. No way! There's the travel tubes, except they're like amazing and a million times better. Oh my gosh! What? And, is that a golf cart? <laughs> it has a little thing on the top! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so good. It's everything and more. Like, what is that? Is that a nuclear plant? What is this new giant machine? What, like, just pipes. Pipes. Like, come on. It's, oh my. And this isn't even the whole trailer. There's more. It's finally happening. One year after release. Coming to Steam. Soon.tm! Yeah, bud! Wow. Wow. So yeah, I think we can all agree. This is the most insane and ambitious update yet. And, oh my gosh, the travel pipes. Vertical travel is gonna be so easy now with them. The, there are pipes in the game. It's been memed for so long. It's just... But now they're real. Now they're real. Okay. Oh, man. So today, we're just gonna be exploring all the new stuff in the new update. Uh, and having a great old time. So immediately, we gotta start in the new experimental starting zone. And oh, skip intro. Onboarding process and start game at tier one. Yes, we are gonna do that too. Let's rock and roll. It's happening. It's happening. I'm so freaking excited. Oh, we. Oh, and yeah, we just start right here. In the new desert biome, <gasps> there's sand. The cliffs are redone. We have starting materials. Equipment shortcuts? We can like press hockey as the switch between everything. Let's start just by putting a few of the miners down right off the bat here. Uh, let's also build the hub. And let's see what's new here. So we already have tier one, beast building. Nothing new in here yet. It looks like the graphics were updated. Probably. Productivity display. 
Once it's upgraded, you can see the efficiency of each building. Oh, there's always been that in the game, but I don't think it's ever been like fully explored. So that's interesting. The ma'am is a separate building? Wait. <gasps> and still no toilet paper? Oh, but hey, hey, hey. That's new. Coro slaves. <laughs> Why is it farting? Nice. I think that's a jab at uh, the cycle game. Okay. Uh, I am like becoming overwhelmed. There's there's so much that's new. Uh, let's check out tier two. Part assembly, smart plating, project part one. Set send up in the space elevator to complete project assembly. Copper sheet used for crafting primarily. Used for pipelines due to its high corrosion resistance. I can't believe it. The assembler, I think got an update, if only a minor one. Solid biofuel, okay, so we saw a trailer before, and these look like hamster food, but it's actually biofuel. Makes sense. All right, the you jelly stuff. <gasps> the awesome shop? You build this? Redeem your fix-it coupons here. For those employees going the extra kilometer, we have set aside special bonus milestones and rewards. Whoa! And the awesome sink! The newly developed awesome sink turns any useful part straight into research data as fast as you can supply it. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my goodness. So, oh my gosh. Can we build multiple of these? Our participating employees will be compensated with coupons and spend at the awesome shop. <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty excited. I I'm pretty excited. I'm really excited. My mind is exploding right now. Th it feels like a whole new game. Okay, so we have two options. We could like start playing the game now and just explore the area. Or, Smart All Kibs has prepped a variety of different worlds so we could effectively go through all the update stuff. So we can get like a vehicle, we can have like health, and all the other good stuff. So. Let me switch over to one of those worlds, and we'll explore what's new in the later tiers as well. And we'll build the coupon shop and... The, uh, this is gonna be the whole episode, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just overly excited. Alright, looks like we're all good. So welcome to our arc here. We have built a very small base with a few coal generators and tons and tons of items so that we can explore the new update properly. Oh boy, but most importantly, I want to check out... Ooh, the buggy looks different now, eh? Everything kind of has like this less harsh look to it. I don't know how to put it, but I like the red sh seats. Are those airbags or shocks? I'm not sure. Uh, number one though, we definitely have to put in a few hard drives, but we can't because we don't have the ma'am here anymore. Oh my gosh, we have to check out the research. Okay, okay, what is that? Hub parts. Okay, we just started with the hub parts. I didn't build a space elevator here, so we're gonna have to build a new one. Uh, select milestones, okay. Here we go. So we can look into the awesome shop immediately, but let's look into like tier three and stuff. Vehicular transport, that's the same deal. Steel, versatile framework? So it's for the space elevator, however, it would be really, really cool if we could actually use that as scaffolding when building? I don't know. But then... <laughs> hyper tubes! Used to enter and power a hyper tube. Hyper tube for transporting fixed employees requires a hyper tube entrance and a support. Allows for it to go longer distances. So it's like, I'm gonna imagine it's like you're building belts, except, you know, they're tubes, they're pipes. It's wild. Speaking of, alternative fluid transport. Oh my gosh. Oil is being completely reworked. Packaged fuel, uh, converted to electricity or as fuel for ve vehicles. So that's just like normal fuel. Crude oil packaged to be transport. So we can use that as fuel too. Water's in the game now. Well like, water we can harvest. Oh and we have to make the empty canisters can be recycled. Well, 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 we have to have like gas fill up stations, dude! <laughs> Industrial fluid buffer can contain like a ton of fluid, so we have to store it in these now. Uh, heavy oil residue. Okay. 
what I wonder what we do with that uh, liquid biofuel right on so it's like from the early game except now it's pushed up to tier 5 and liquid biofuel okay the most efficient form of biomass oh I should also check out yep the things I already had pre unlocked here so we have modular engines that looks amazing that is so wicked so we need that for the uh, space elevator for project assembly adaptive control unit another thing for project assembly what are we building the manufacturer new model oil processing scanner update crude oil petroleum coke used for crafting a carbon rich material from heavy oil residue okay I have no idea what we're gonna do with that uh, let's go back for a second here. Let's double check everything here. Stackable pipeline support because we can build pipes. Okay. Oh, that's for the hyper tubes, I guess, right now. Uh, automated wiring. Another thing for the space elevator. So the space elevator now has all these specific parts that can only be crafted, like, through automation. Like, you can't make them in the craft bench here. So you have to automate it. Which is amazing. A fantastic change in my opinion so that's gonna be really cool but then anything else that I missed no oh that's where pipes are you get pipes as early as uh, coal power coal generate oh my gosh because the coal generators need water to make electricity now of course water extractors wait a second hold up oh no my arc has been destroyed because we need to <laughs> we need to add in water to this oh and it has the water pump thing right down there oh my i can't i can't believe fluids are in the game man i can't believe it it's been memed for so long and now everything is insane everything is insane all right though so you get fluids extremely quick that is great. All right, and a ton of pipelines, industrial fluid buffers, pipelines, pumps. Oh, applies 20 pressure. All right, and then finally, tier six here, jetpack. Uh, we have keterium stuff and the trains. And then, of course, uh, we don't have tier seven. I didn't unlock that. Alrighty, though. So we got the ma'am. This is so strange having it be like on its own here now. Whoa. This looks different. Strange energy readings. Nutrients. Oh, it's like a tech tree. Whoa. Whoa. Unknown metals. Alien organisms. Are there new enemies in the game, I wonder? Node unavailable. So, what? And that gets to the final thing. So, research is now, like, hyper more critical. And then, okay, but then we can automatically just scan this. And that looks all the same. So it takes 10 minutes, has a little loading bar. This is completely updated, though. Oh, and this has a little, like, screen around it. Wow, I can't believe that's, uh, like, its own thing. But the real question is, can we make more than one ma'am at a time? And do, like, industrial-scale research? No, brother. <laughs> Why? Oh, and interesting. That's over here, too. Okay. Oh, uh, that would have been amazing if we could scan and research more than one thing. Well, that's okay. You know what? I think it's about time we checked out the resource sink in the awesome shop. All right, time to get those coupons, brother. Resource sink bonus program. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty cheap. Interesting. So you build these. I thought these would be like crash landed in like the world. And the resource sink. All right, we just need a few more items for these. Alrighty, so here is the resource sink. And that is a big freaking boy. A real big boy. So there's obviously the entrance. Global optimum. Oh, global, because of course you can make more of these. You can print the coupons, no power. Okay, so we have to get power figured out pretty quick here. You have the little back thing. Oh, it's for the little coupons. That is fantastic! Ah, uh, yes, and since it's like a global system, there's like a little satellite on there. And a little radar. Alright! 
All right, all right, all right. And then the awesome shop. What are you cooking, brother? Oh, it's so small and cute. I love it. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. Glass windowed walls. There's so many variants. Doors, of course, the same. Okay, so you get all of these in the, the awesome shop now. Attachments. Conveyor wall mount. Wait, so you just can add the mount to the wall? And then you don't have to actually build like walls with the mounts on them. Okay. And you can attach pipelines to walls too. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, double sided wall power pull. Yes! So you can have power go through walls and not have to do the like the door thing anymore. Like I've been doing this door thing since the game came out to move power through the walls. We are free. We are free. Oh my, I, can't, I just can't, I still can't believe this. This is like the most insane update. Okay, curved foundations. Yo, we're making a stunt track, you better believe it. Corner foundations as well. Nice, nice corner ramps. Pillars, yes! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy this is a thing. And there's a proper top and beast to it too. So train tracks all throughout the land. Beast supported by pillars. Oh man, ramp inverted, rock on. Ramp double. Oh, so it has the bottom and the top so you can easily make like ramps that go upwards, up hills and stuff. Oh my gosh, Foundi a glass foundation, foundation frame. A uh, walkway is getting unlocked in here now too. <laughs> There's so much. Vehicles, oh my gosh. The factory cart. <laughs> I want this so bad. I want this so bad. Uh, railings, super important. Stairs, mm -hmm. statues. <laughs> oh. 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 We have a goal in life. We have a goal in life. Oh my sweet Batman. I need these. I need these so bad. We must get the golden nut statue. We must get the doggo statue. I... Okay, so now there's like an optional end game goal. Oh my. <laughs> get a coffee cup and beacons. Oh, it's just equipment. So can we craft that? I have no idea. I am just beyond excited, guys. And parts. Okay. Oh, so you can get like just a couple things with the, the coupons. Oh no, like, no, everything. Polymer resin? What even? What? What even is all this stuff? Oh, the crafting recipes. Oh my gosh, the entire, li the literal entirety of the game has changed. Every crafting recipe is almost certainly like blasted to oblivion. Okay, number one though. We gotta start feeding the resource sink with items, luckily. We have plenty of items, we just don't have any power. So let's try and set up some coal power and see how that goes. Let's grab some fuel as well. Put it in the buggy. Thank you me for being so smart and doing this. Already pre-fueled. Let's rock and roll. Oh wait, what do we have to build? We need to build the water stuff. How do we build the water stuff? Walls, uh, logistics. Oh my god, I can't, I can't believe this. This was memed for so long. And here we are. How do you make this stuff? Just straight up from copper. So it's like copper, or it's like the iron plates except with copper now. Yeah, it makes sense. Water extractor, this is what we want. So yeah, we definitely need the water pump and we need to start pumping water into our coal plants for more power. But I forgot, in my infinite wisdom, I'd actually have made a huge area, or a small area, <laughs> for biofuel power. So we have just a little bit to get by. Meaning, we should be able to make the resource sink and the ticket machine uh, run. So we'll put the sink up here. I'm not sure how much power that's gonna use though. Let's double check. 30 megawatts, not bad. I think we have room in our grid. Please, just barely. <laughs> so you to there, 
Excellent. And now let's start dumping items in. So we're just gonna be grabbing some uh, quick wire and bringing that across the factory in a very organized way. Ooh. Ooh, and I didn't realize we could do that now. But we can actually just click and things snap to angles of foundations? Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. We're just gonna bring this nicely over to the machine and let her rip. And now we're getting tickets, right? Oh yeah, it's moving. It's grooving. We making tickets, brother. Ho 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 ho. Points until next coupon. Oh my gosh. You need a lot of stuff then to get a lot of coupons. Oh my gosh. And you only get one coupon? And some of the things in like the coupon shop are like a thousand coupons. Oh lordy. Oh lordy Lanta. Well, number one thing we have to get today is we have to get the factory cart. That thing is too dang cute. And it is now dawn of the greatest day. Because guess what? Guess what, Mr. Moth? Mr. or Mrs. Moth? We have the tickets. We are now ascending to cartdom. Or what is it called? It's called like a factory cart, right? Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Vehicles. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, we have 12 tickets. Let's print them. Ooh, so they come as an item. Very nice. All right, and it's a universal thing across all machines. So now let's add that to our cart. Bye. Eee. <laughs> I'm so excited. I, it's so funny. We get to make like this crazy like all-terrain sports buggy. But life is all about the cart. Where is my cart? Do we make it in this? <gasps> we do. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying. I love it so much. <laughs> Oh my god. I, I, I am, I, I'm just, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, and when you put, when you honk the horn, that's what puts the little alarm on. <laughs> this is the greatest thing in the world! Oh my gosh, it does not do well on terrain. But I don't care. <laughs> We are the police of this world. Back up, punk. We're moving and grooving. This is all Christmases combined into all of them. <laughs> We're gonna have so many of these things. It's unbelievable. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. They make me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> what does it? Oh my god! I love them so much! Can we put a doggo inside one? Please! Please! Oh, wait, I guess we'll find that out at some point. I uh, will have one in our inventory just in case. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm freaking out! That is just the cutest thing ever, possibly ever. Oh man! Okay, and then as for like coupon stuff, the coupons get like exponentially more expensive as time goes on. So I don't know if we're going to be unlocking anything else honestly here. So I guess we can get the coffee cup. We have one coupon, or we have three technically, but you know. Let's just buy the coffee cup. Let's see what's going on with this. Schematic purchased coffee cup. Okay, so now do we just walk around with a coffee cup? Oh no, it's not built in here now. Oh, what are we going? What's going on? Where would it possibly be? It's not in there. It's not in here. Is it an emote? Oh! We can hold C to crouch? I'm sneaky now. I'm so sneaky. Oh, and you can slide! 
Ooh, that's cool. Uh, what's the emote wheel again? T. Claps. How do we get the coffee cup? Is it something we research? How? What's going on with all this stuff, man? Okay, I'll be real. I have no idea how we're supposed to get the coffee cup. Like, it seems like when you just stand still, like in the tr one of the trailers, it kind of just appeared. But I'm not seeing it anywhere through here. No, no. I have no idea. Okay, uh, maybe we'll figure it out a little bit later. Uh, for now, we need more power. And we... <laughs> oh my god. And we have to go moving and grooving, making some piperinos. So while we're waiting for tickets, I was kind of looking through things here. Not at the map, but through the production now. And with all the water stuff. So we have the water extractors. And the extraction rate is 120 kiloliters per minute. But the default pressure is 10, allowing for a 10 meter vertical rise of fluids. So in order to increase the pressure in pipes, you have to add on these pumps, which cost power. And 20 meters isn't all that much, really. Like, oh god, it's so cute. Uh, it's not that much. So what I was thinking initially was we'd bring the water from down there up to these coal generators up here. But this is like 100 meters up or something crazy. So instead... We're gonna bring, ooh, or we're gonna build some coal power plants down by the river. And that'll be a much better place to set all this up. So do we have everything we need? Yes, we do. So let's rock and roll, brother. Now this is peak living. I've never felt so alive. Hello, don't mind me, just the police moving on through. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna start building a power plant down over here. Hopefully there are coal nodes still here. The whole map might have been changed, so... Woo! We're gonna have to find out pretty quick. Okay, 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 okay. Whoa! Uh oh <laughs> Hey, what's going on, hog? Don't mind me, professional driver Kibbs here. Just doing normal things. <laughs> okay, enough. Enough, come with me. Oh my god, it's so fun. Everything's so fun. I love life. Okay, though. No. Let us make the uh, water plant here. I'm gonna make the water thingamadoogly over here. That'll get us the water. The coal is right behind us. So, let's see. We build you. Right on. That looks so cool. It, it's really strange, but cool nonetheless. Got a little floaty thing on it. The interface looking wild. Needs a little bit of power. That's fine. We can get that in a moment. Got those things going down for the pump, and now for the pipes. Build no default. I think if you press R, this changes. 2D. I don't know what that means. Vertical? Okay. So yeah, just pressing R changes all that. So I guess if you needed to just go straight up, you'd just go straight up. Seems pretty straightforward. <laughs> like this pipe. I can't believe there's actually pipes. Like, oh my gosh. The dreams, the memes, the reality. Right, Doggo? Please tell me we have berries. We do. And you are now my new best friend. And guess what? I have some good news for you too. You have your own car. <laughs> oh my god. Please, if we could just sit on it or sit in it, that would be the greatest thing. No? No. Oh, that's okay. Alright, let's get back to the pipe stuff. So we got the pipes being made. Uh, there's no power yet. We'll get to that in a moment. And you know, I guess I'll set up all the coal stuff here really quick. And then we'll see how we connect it all together. Alrighty, well everything is pretty much set up now, so we just have to worry about the water. Which should be okay. Just bring the pipe over. Right. And I assume there's gonna be like a splitter for this, right? So we have do do, -do logistics now. It's so strange. Ah uh, yeah. The junction point. Okay. 
And we just put you onto this. Oh, we put you into the pipe. Okay, so that splits it up into three. Interesting. Okay, and then from here, we go into each of these. Oh, no, it's, oh, it shows the encroaching clearance thing much better now. That's good. And we just go into there. Okay, uh, let's check out the different building modes. So let's go 2D. I don't understand the 2D, to be honest, actually. And then vertical. Oh, oh. Oh, I kind of get it. So if you had like a floor up above, you would easily like vertically go up there. I wonder if they're going to change that with the belts as well then. I'm not sure. I don't know how I feel about that yet. I'm just not used to it really. I will stick to default then. But anyway, final thing. Uh, you will go to here. We'll just make a junction I suppose. And we obviously have to redo like all the numbers in the game because, you know, fluids. But there we go. I, lo I love the pipes. Just how they look. Just how they look. They add such a cool like aesthetic to the game. Right, Doggo? You love the pipes. You're giving them a big hug already. What a cutie. Okay. And then the last thing is water pressure. I just don't know how that works though, so we're just gonna kinda YOLO it. We're gonna hook all these guys up. We have a couple leaves here ready to go. Uh, hopefully this is enough to get two miners and the water thing going at once. Because once we do, that's all we really need. All right, so it's green. We should see some kind of like pumping action somewhere, maybe. Or this will show something. Flow rate. Max flow rate, current amount in pipe. Flow rate, this seems to be balanced out. So that means this pipe is working? Oh yeah. That's moving and grooving. There's no elevation here, so that's good too. And here comes the coal, excellent. And this has water now? Current amount in building, zero. I'm gonna assume like once we get to a junction point like this, everything kind of goes weird. Press E to configure pipeline. Okay, so you can configure all of them. And every pipeline has a little bit of storage here. So this is actually sending the water in. Yes, it is. Now it's just getting there. So the flow rate is really low because we don't have any of the pumps on. But if we had a pump here, then things would probably get moving and grooving a lot faster, right? There we go. So I think that like doubled it. Nice. Oh man, it's going way better now. What is that thumping? Oh, that's the, <laughs> that's the pump. Of course, that makes sense. And yeah, that's running just perfect now. Right, Doggo? You're gonna be the guard for this, okay? Also, you're gonna guard our new vehicle. So keep an eye out. If anything bad happens, just honk the horn, call the police. Oh, there's so many more measurements to do. We're getting power. These still produce, oh, these were buffed. They produce 75 megawatts now. Oh my goodness, so all that's rebalanced. Wait a second. And then what about the fuel generators? They still produce 150, but you can see immediately, they need the actual like liquid fuel, not the actual fuel tanks. Oh, that is so, oh my gosh, that is, that's huge. That is huge. Okay. Well, at least we have power here now. So now that we have power, let's bring it back to our little uh, arc base. And, and we'll check out some of the other new things going on. But first off, Doggo, be free. Come over here. Come here. Good boy. And now join me as we continue our adventure and take over the world. Alrighty, back at these, let's see what else is new. I can't believe there are pipes in the game. I still can't believe it. But, oh man. So, there's all the stuff that has to do with the space elevator. And we'll check that out in a little bit here. But, alternative fluid transport. This is all the oil stuff now. <laughs> oh my god. That's nutty. But I gotta be honest, 
I just have to check out the hyper tubes, man. These look like the greatest things to be added to the game ever. Aside from the cart. The cart takes the cake, but you can't compete with the cart. It's too good. <laughs> All right, though, let's check out the hyper tubes. Milestone Whoa. reached. Fixit Incorporated has processed and incorporated frequent pioneer requests for pipe based personal transport. Oh my goodness. Introducing Hypertubes. Safe, aesthetic, adaptable, fun. Enjoy a view of your hard work as you soar through incredibly tight turns. Build them today. That was us? Note Fixit Incorporated is not responsible for any harm caused by irresponsible use of this product. That was us? The developers listened. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have no idea how these are going to work and I don't even care. All right, that's a support. We need the entrance. That was so small. And it takes power. Fine, we have lots of power now. Okay. Can't enter it right now, obviously. And then the hyper tube. Uh, it can do the same, like, conveyor 2D and... Noodle? What? Noodles. Noodles for the win. Where, where do we go? How do we go? What? This... What? This doesn't seem real. These are insane. Wait, there's vertical, of course, right? Oh my gosh, there is vertical. Hold up, hold up, do I have concrete on me? Please. Oh, you're in the promised land now. Vertical transport that's not the bounce pads anymore? Like, I love the bounce pads, don't get me wrong, but this is a game changer. All right, so just go from A to B. Excellent. And then we'll have a entrance over here as well. So, I don't know if we need the entrance to exit the travel pipe or a tube. We'll kind of see how it works. Or, I suppose for testing, we should just leave it as is. Yeah. So let's go back down. We'll go to the entrance. How much power does this use? I uh, can't configure it. That's fine. Whoa! We're moving, brother! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we don't need an exit. And oh my gosh, this is the craziest thing ever. Oh my gosh, um, this this update, this update, this is one of the best game updates I think I've ever seen. Okay, now we just need the entrance again. There we go. We'll add the power to it. I don't know if it's really necessary, but we're doing it. And now we just go back down. Oh, we don't even have to enter it. We just walk up and it's so fast. Wow! Wow! Oh, guys, the ideas I have for this. There are so many things we're gonna be doing with these. These are gonna be fundamental. Okay, well, the hyper tubes, easily one of my favorite things. I think it goes the cart, then the hyper tubes here. And then just everything else is just so overwhelming, it's like, I don't even know. But before we check out anything else, uh, let's check out the space elevator. Because now all of the recipes are changed with it, and it's like completely different. So let's add that to our to-do here. Gather up the resources and build it, and see what's going on with all these new elevator parts. I know for sure, though, they can't be made in the craft bench, and we have to... Uh, Make them in machines. All right, so let us see what is new with this. Oh man, oh man, I am excited. Like since they changed this now, that is the most fundamental gameplay change they could possibly make with this game. So this is gonna be huge. Well, it literally is huge because it's a massive space elevator, but you know what I mean. Alrighty, come on down brother. Is this thing looking any different? Nope. Good. It already looks fantastic. Whoa. It's beautiful. Majestic. There we go. 
Unker's on down. Here comes the actual, like, elevator part. And yep, pretty much the same deal we're used to. Except now, this is a lot different. Okay, so you need, wow. Adaptive control units, which are insane. Computers and heavy modular frames. Well, now there's a use for heavy modular frames in production. Whoa. Project assembly modular engine. And it's looking like you need all of the production from like the earlier stages of the space elevator here in order to make the parts for the next stage. Yeah, seems quite clear. And versatile framework. That's a lot of stuff. I don't think we can see it in a craft bench, so let's quickly make a assembler here. Okay. And these require rotors and reinforced iron plates, automated wiring. Is the stators and wire. Whoa, okay. And how's actually the model look for this? Is this is it any different? No. That looks pretty much the same. I do know though that the manufacturer model is significantly different. Like look at that, brother. It's looking crazy. Oh yeah. This looks so much better than the original model. I love this. And of course we have our adaptive things here and these. They take rubber. All these things take so much. Oh, I'm so excited. They're so complicated. It's gonna make our factory building so much more fun. And then is there anything else we have to unlock? Basic steel. Yeah, we kind of know that. We kind of know that. Gas mask. Yep. There's all the stuff to do with the oil. But I think we'll get to that in our Let's Play. And also, I think we'll check out all the changes to the desert biome in our Let's Play as well. Because then we can do an in-depth exploration. Alright though, I think that is gonna be all for today. We have checked out most of the stuff in the new update, but the gameplay changes are something we're gonna have to play through. And I'm gonna be starting a new Let's Play, so if you want to watch me play through the game with all the new changes starting in this desert biome, remember to subscribe and leave a like! And I'll see you in the next video. So have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye.